So here it is, day two of not having the Holly Sniper. And I went ahead and decided to take it up to the muffler shop instead of doing this myself. I didn't want to, well, I didn't want to buy the kit, try to cut 5,000 bends, try to weld up 5,000 cuts, and try to do it myself. I'm just going to take it up there, let them do it, pay the money. They know what they're doing. I could care less. And uh, it would just make me feel better for this one less thing I don't have to do. They say they don't need it running. As long as the headers are in place, they are. So, I'm going to, well, it's already loaded up. They open at 8. So, I'm headed there now. Let's see what they have to say. All right. I'm here at Greer's Automotive. They did my exhaust for me. And they tucked a lot of things out. They notched the frame or the, the cross member. Got three inches all the way back, which looks really nice. Everything looks good. Use some of the factory hangers. You said this muffler had an X pipe in it? It does have X pipe. Okay. Flow Pro Max and it has an X pipe in it, okay. And uh, they cut it right behind the axle because I'm putting on a roll pan, it's kind of floppy at the moment. So once I get all that figured out, they said I can come back and they can push it right through the roll pan for me. So right now it's just kind of sitting, hanging. Axle dump, that's Axle dump, okay. <laughs> they were able to get the oxygen sensor in for the Holley without any issues of course it's in within 10 inches like it said so i am very happy with the way it looks of course we won't be able to hear it sound until we get the holly back from uh shipping so here's one of the guys who did it from greer's is it greer's that's how you pronounce it so exactly how long did it take well a couple of good days a couple of good days we'll do it. okay because the van had dropped in and out probably 47,000 times, like you said. So. <laughs> test fit, test fit, test fit, test, test fit, fit, test fit. Cut, test fit. Weld, test fit. Okay. Plus a little bit. A few choice words. <laughs> but he made it work. It looks pretty good. I like it. it. It does look very good. He didn't come down below like uh, he said he might have to. So most shops would have either went with a smaller diameter or smaller or went under or went under. Yeah. Cause they won't take the time to, to notch it. Yeah. Notch it. And that, that notch looks spectacular, which is that that's the notch. And you also took the time to wrap all my fuel lines, return and sending to, uh, We'll put a V in the pop here for your drive shaft clearance too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Mm -hmm. There we go. So yeah, this is uh, really good. And I was told it's gonna be uh, $5. Of course, I'm a little off on that price, but uh, <laughs> well, we can figure that out. But, all right. So where where is this place located? 1135 Kaiser Boulevard, Greenville, Tennessee. Greenville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. All righty. Well, thank you so much for your time, and uh, let's get back to work. Thank you. So I'm doing a little follow-up video on the exhaust. So I know a lot of you might ask, why did I choose a 3-inch exhaust over a 2.5-inch exhaust due to scavenging? And I implore you to watch the uh, Motor Trend channel, uh, power of 2.5-inch versus 3-inch exhaust on the dyno, uh, episode number 9. And you would see between the 2.5-inch and 3-inch, there's only a half horsepower difference. And the other reason why I chose a 3-inch is I had 3-inch collectors on my header, on my Headman headers. That's what the reason why I went with a 3-inch all the way back.
Another question I'll probably get is why didn't I go uh, mandrel bent versus uh, what I ended up getting, which was the, the the cheap and cheesy pipe bender bend. And I honestly I didn't want to spend the extra money for the mandrel bend. The uh, the mandrel bend pipe is about about three hundred dollars for the piping before the exhaust shop cuts it, welds it, puts it back. Yes, I could have done it myself, but I just didn't want to at this point. It's so close to being done. I just wanted someone else to do it. So that's the reason why I didn't go with that. Uh, again, mandrel bent versus the regular bend, uh, exhaust type pen, crinkle bend, whatever you want to call it. There's episodes on uh, Motor Trend Channel. No power difference at all between the two. It strictly looks. So it is what it is.